A new trailer for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes has been revealed, one that changes everything. In a previous video, we talked about the leak of a theatrical trailer, which showed us Noah's motivations. Finally, this trailer has been released, and it confirms the leak we mentioned in our previous video. So in this video, we will be analyzing this new trailer, which finally reveals Noah's motivations and adds to the mystery of May. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. The trailer begins with a gorilla and a chimpanzee arriving to where the humans are. Unlike other trailers, we can see shortly before May starts running, and we can see an orangutan resembling Raka. But Raka is not wearing his typical attire and necklace. Possibly he has removed this attire to avoid drawing attention to himself. But this scene reveals something important. In the first trailer, when we were shown May running alongside the humans, we were meant to imply that she was part of this tribe of feral humans. However, we now see that May has come to this place with Raka, possibly to hide from Proximus Caesar's men. This is evidence that May is not a feral human, or at least she is not part of this tribe. Then we are shown some scenes that we already saw in the previous trailers. And we move on to the scene that shows a part of the movie, where a gorilla and two chimpanzees are looking for May. A scene that seems to be taken from the first Planet of the Apes movie. However, we can see Noah arriving, calling Raka and calling Nova. As we mentioned in our previous video, May being called Nova is quite confusing. When the first trailer was released, it was mentioned that she was called Nova, and that it would be the story of Nova and Cornelius, the two characters we saw in the Caesar trilogy. It was later mentioned that this movie took place 300 years into the future, and that the story of Nova and Cornelius would not be told. However, in this film we see Noah calling May using Nova's name. Some have mentioned that Nova may have become a generic name used by apes when referring to humans. However, this means that the film could be more connected to the Caesar trilogy than we think. Or even, there is a possibility that May is a descendant of Nova, who we saw in the Caesar trilogy. It's also worth mentioning that in the original films, one of the feral humans was also named Nova, so it's no coincidence that Nova's name is used. Now we move on to the first new image from this trailer. In this one we can see May riding a horse with Raka, and Noah leading them. Raka is not wearing the robe, so it is confirmed that this is the same orangutan we saw at the beginning of the trailer. We move on to other scenes that we saw in previous trailers, and we are shown Noah together with some friends running through the jungle, possibly looking for food. We move on to a scene in which we see Noah quite sad, perhaps after the attack on his tribe. But we are shown one of the most revealing scenes in the trailer. In this image we can see May sitting inside a house, Perhaps this is the moment when May explains to Noah where she comes from. It could also be that they are reading a book that gives us information about what is going on. In one of the scenes in the previous trailer, we saw the throne of Proximus Caesar, which is inside an abandoned ship, and the image of where May is located is similar to where the throne is. It is possible that in some scenes where we have seen Proximus Caesar talking, he is not actually talking to Noah, but he is talking to May inside this ship. We can even see that she is looking scared, because she is afraid of where she is, which leads us to think that she is in fact with Proximus Caesar. Also, as we mentioned in our previous video, we can hear Noah say that the law is wrong. This confirms the theory we had on this channel, that ape laws have changed, and Caesar's teachings are no longer being followed. We move on to a scene in which we see an ape turning a lever with ropes, which shows that the apes have developed different types of technology and are more advanced than we thought. This ship is one of those that Proximus Caesar has under his control. 
It is interesting how the apes have turned these sites abandoned by humans into havens for them. We move on to a scene that confirms the theory we had mentioned in this channel about the attack of Proximus Caesar. In the scene we can see a female ape calling her mother and telling Noah to escape while the habitat where Noah lives is burning. We can see Proximus Caesar's men attacking the village and Noah surprised. We cut to a scene of Noah wounded, waking up among the ashes of his village. We can hear Noah say that they stole his village and now he will find them and bring them home. Perhaps he is referring to avenging them for what happened or perhaps rescuing someone Proximus has kidnapped, possibly May and Reka. We can see a scene of Noah going through the Forbidden Zone looking for Proximus Caesar, and we can see that Noah finds an electric stick, perhaps in the ruins of his former home. This is where Noah will use electricity as a weapon. We move on to other scenes we saw in past trailers, but we see a scene where Noah is fighting a gorilla inside a water dam, a place that serves to energize the cities. This dam appeared in the Caesar trilogy, and from what we see, it will have a leading role in these new installments. Apparently, Proximus Caesar wants this place to supply them with more electricity, and Noah's final fight could take place here. Another scene shown in the trailer is Noah's ritual with the hawk, which we already mentioned is a ritual when apes reach a certain age. Which means that this ritual is one of the most important rituals we will see in the movie. Now this trailer has been one of the most interesting and detailed trailers they have released so far. We already know Noah's motivations, the path he will have to go through to seek revenge and save Raka and May. We see that the technology Proximus Caesar has access to is much more complicated than we thought, and that little by little the pieces are falling into place. I think that Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes will be the beginning of a new phase in this universe. One that will be more focused on the inner struggle of the apes. However, there is something that is still unclear, and that is why May is known as Nova. This name hides a great mystery, and no doubt we are excited to know what will happen in this movie. But in the meantime, tell me, what do you think about all this? Did you like this new trailer? Why do you think Noah calls May Nova? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.